We have breaking news this evening out of Northern Ireland, where H&W Welders have appointed unknown overweight Australian Aussie villain as the club's new manager. Now, villain is about to address the press, so let's cross live now to Belfast and see what he has to say. What do you mean it's a titanic task? I don't get it. Why is that funny? Oh, I don't get the sense of humour here. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. And, uh, well, first of all, let me begin by introducing myself and saying what an honour it is to announce myself, Aussie Villain, as the new manager here at H&W Welders. Uh, it's a tremendous, uh, so excited, really, really happy to get uh, underway at a club that I supported as a boy. Now, um, do we have any questions? Uh, yeah, go on. Eamon Murphy, local reporter. How long have you supported the Wilders? How local are you? I'm more local than you. Answer the question. Yeah, to be honest, mate, they're more of a, more of a boyhood club in sort of a Robbie Keane kind of way. So how aware are you of the club's history? Well, um, I know that... Um, you know what? I know that I wasn't brought here to be a historian. My job here is to move this club forward, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So what are you going to do? Win the Champions League? Yeah, exactly, mate. Or we're going to die trying. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome to Harlan and Wolf Welders, episode one of the Impossible Dream here in Northern Ireland. Now, if you are new to the channel, we did do an Impossible Dream last season in Wales with Barla Town. The goal here is to try and win the Champions League with uh, with the Welders here. Did we do it in Wales? No, we didn't. We got to the knockout rounds of the Champions League. Never any further than the first knockout round, though. Hopefully, we'll learn from that and do a little bit better here in Northern Ireland, though. Now... Uh, top of the of the thing here, we've got to do our YouTube admin. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. Don't forget to hit thumbs up uh, if you enjoy the video. Leave your comments, your feedbacks, how far you think we'll get on uh, in this series. Uh, all that sort of interaction is fantastic for the YouTube algorithm. Helps you know get, get in front of more people's eyes. Uh, and obviously, in early in the series, that's important because we want to get as many people on board here as is possible. Also, in the description, there is a link to uh, all my socials, uh, Discord, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. If for some reason you want to follow me on there, I do recommend the Discord though. That's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so all that is in the in the description. Now, welcome to the new club. Let's have a look here and see what we've got here. Some players in the last year of their contract. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't know too much about this club at all, um, so it's going to be a big, big learning experience. We don't need to do a tactics induction. Club vision and expectations. Let's have a look. If you want to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team, I tend to do that anyway. Work within a budget. We don't really have a choice. Avoid relegation is our target for this season. So that is um, something you'd like to think we could do. It's going to be a very, very short series, isn't it? <laughs> um, there's no point negotiating that because that all looks fine to me. So that's good. Uh, Northern Ireland transfer window. Uh, we don't have anybody there. That little, They all look like uh, their first division teams, I think, aren't they? We are in the second division as well. Um, we've got a scouting induction. We don't worry about that. We'll just skip through that. I'll do that later. Um, and some other news here. Now, where do we want to start? Let's start by having a look at the club itself. That's the exciting thing, I think, here. Um, this is a club that looks like it has never been in the top flight. So mission one is to get them in the top flight. We're semi-professional, so we need to get them as a professional club. Um, that'll be uh, mission number two. I imagine we won't be able to turn professional but to, before we enter uh, the top division. Founded in 1965, um, a 3,000-seat capacity stadium. We're in Belfast, which is good. Um, that should give us room to grow. Uh, there are no club legends or favoured personnel or anything, so we've got uh, a clean slate to work from in that sense. Um, our local rivals, Dundella, East Belfast, uh, Skankill United, and Glentoran. Now, Glentoran are a pretty good team, I think, aren't they? But we have no real fierce rivals, so... Um, we're, we're not, you know, we're, we're a nice, likable club. Facilities, what have we got to work with here? Tillsburn, Till, Tillsburn Park is the, uh, is the stadium. As I said, we're in Belfast, which should give us room to grow. We own our stadium, which is good. Average condition, so we might need to, uh, we might need to look to, uh, to expand that or get a new one at some point. We will need to get a new one at some point. Training and basic facilities. Training and youth facilities are basic. We have average academy coaching. We have basic youth recruitment. So all this is going to need to be improved. Um, so that, I mean, we kind of would expect that anyway. Do we have any affiliate clubs? Uh, we do not. So first thing here, we're going to try to try and get a senior affiliate, aren't we? So I'll look to do that off camera. Um, overview here, we have, well, let's say we've never been in the top division. We've won a few minor trophies, it looks like, but nothing particularly um sensational there the finances are not great we have no transfer budget uh we have 
a wage budget of £895, and we have an overall balance of five grand. So we're pretty much starting from rock bottom here, aren't we? There's going to be a lot of free transfers going here, I think. Uh, our staff numbers, um, we so we have some room to get some scouts in. We'll need to do that because uh, we're going to need to really work that free agent market, aren't we? Uh, we already have more coaches than we're allowed, so that's a problem. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, we are really starting at rock bottom here, aren't we? Um, so there we go, that is that. And we don't particularly have great coaches anyway of the ones that we do have. But the physio's good, so that's something. All right, let's have a look at our team. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, for Christ's sake, game, I've played before. Uh, well, we do not have the world's biggest squad either, do we? This is... Um, yeah, we're not at Baller anymore, people. We're certainly not at Barcelona anymore. Now, I'm assuming that's not the James McCarthy. Uh, he's on loan. He look. He's actually quite good. Let's do it by position. Uh, we have some. Well, wow, this is this is completely different to <laughs> where we left off on Football Manager 20, isn't it? Uh, there's some good players here. Matty Ferguson. He is actually quite good. Um, so he's there's one. There's there's someone we can cling our hopes to. Um, I mean, he looks decent as well. But a non-contract player, we're going to have to try and tie him down, aren't we? Um, yeah. Do we have uh, a youth team? Let's go and look at the development center. Game, please. You're killing me here. Um, we have reserves. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the reserve squad. Um, there's one there, Brandon Nelson. Okay, he looks he looks promising. Uh, I mean, to be honest, all these guys are going to have to go up into the first team because we don't have we don't have a squad that's big enough to not have these guys in the first team. Um, so we've definitely got a little bit of work ahead of us here to build this team into what it needs to be, don't we? Uh, now let's have a look at the schedule. What when are we uh, when are we starting here? We've got a few friendlies. We've got uh, the first game there in this Antrim Shield first round, uh, and then we'll get the season underway. Uh, let's have a quick. Can we have a look at the season preview here? Now we know we're expected to avoid a rele uh, relegation, but where are we sitting? So we're mid table in the odds. Um, so promotion is going to be a bit of an ask for us. But we should be we should be okay, shouldn't we? Really, um, in terms of relegation, we don't have anybody in the Media Eleven Dream Team. Um, our key players, according to this, are Maddie Ferguson, uh, but I think we kind of knew that was the case. And James McCarthy. Now he's the guy we got on loan, isn't he? Um, he's not really a left back. He's more of a centre back, isn't he? But yeah, we'll work with that. Um, okay. I'm just trying to just embrace what we have here. Uh, all right, what do we have by way of league rules? Um, one match, uh, disciplinary rules. We want to have a look at squad rules here, don't we? Uh, da, 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 da. Now, do we have a Brexit rule yet? I wonder too. Um, transfer windows, maximum of eight foreign players over the age of 22 allowed out on loan at a time. Maximum of eight players over the age of 22 are allowed out on loan out of, to a foreign club at one time. So we can only have eight players out on loan. Is that what's what it's telling me? I don't I don't understand that. We'll figure that out as we go. So do we have a limit on foreign players at all then or just the ones that go out on loan? Um Okay. Well, there we go. Uh promotion what's well, going to be was it top so first is promoted. The next two have a promotion playoff. Uh, we've got to avoid bottom two to uh, to not get relegated. And we should probably check in on the team dynamics as well. And we can see here, team cohesion, bleh, it's not great. Uh, so we're going to have to work on that. The atmosphere in the dressing room, though, is quite good. Managerial support is not too bad, considering I've just arrived. Hierarchy, we have no team leaders. That is going to need to change. Already got a little bit of support there, so that's nice. Uh, the social groups. I mean, there's only one. There's barely anybody here. They should all be. Uh, they should all be friends, shouldn't they? Happiness is uh, is not too bad. Uh, and maybe a team meeting. Just introduce myself to the boys here. Um, I wanted to take an opportunity to introduce myself as the new manager. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises. I don't think. Am I? I'll be making improvements in goal. I don't. I can't promise anything because I don't know what I'm going to be able to do here. Um, I don't want to make any promises right now. Uh, absolutely promises aren't always easily defined. I think we can mid-table finish. Well, so let's go stay clear of relegation. That's what they want us to do. Everybody's happy with that. Um, 
we've got so we've got what it takes to stay up boys come on that's exactly sort of yeah come on where's my fist pumping there we go come on boys come on boys uh convinced i'll also be aiming for the latter stages of the irish cup this season I'll also be expecting us to give a good account of ourselves in the irish cup this season i think that's a sensible i'm a sensible person mr davidson um that's exactly the sort of reaction i was after yeah, let's go with that. Uh, also, finalise the code of conduct. Yeah, I did do a code of conduct. Um, everybody's happy with that. And uh, that's a great response, boys. Thank you. And that is everybody's show. Well, that couldn't have gone much better, could it? What's the summary? Let's get my feedback on that. Uh, our assistant manager, Ian Donan, is uh, quite pleased with how it went. So that's a positive start, I think. Positive start. So, uh, yeah, there we go. It's going well so far. This is going to take this is going to take me a little bit of time to uh, to go through and try and get this team together. So we might just have a, this as an introduction episode. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of uh, of our players here. Um, we've got oh, it's not a good goalkeeper, is it? We've got a transfer list, and we don't want anybody leaving. You could maybe leave though. Um, a central defender, yeah. I mean, it's we're going to have to try and keep everybody we can, and then. Yeah, this is going to be it's going to be tough. Now, a reminder that one rule that I do impose on myself is that I don't use the player search function. Uh, Gareth Tom's uh, Tomans looks quite decent, doesn't he? So there's there's one for our midfield. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to just go on and search for players to find. The scouts have to find them for me. Uh, but I do like to employ you all as my scouts. So if you have any suggestions for players you think might fit in here, um, I am obviously all ears. I mean, this guy can cross a ball. He's not he's not the worst physically. So maybe. As a winger. I mean, what formation are we going to play? Um, we have two centre-backs, two right-backs, two left-backs. We don't have a left winger. Um, I wonder if my double Mazzella roll could work. But, yeah, this is this is, this is is a tough one. This really, really is going to make me, uh, make me earn my money, isn't it? But there we go, guys. That, we'll call that an episode. Uh, short and sweet for the intro. We'll be back tomorrow. The, the uh, plan for this is a Monday to Fridays, 7 p.m. We will have the Impossible Dream with HNW Welders. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm. We've got a lot of work to do to get a team together here. But um, I think the goal for this season is going to be very much avoid relegation and uh, just make sure we have a job for next season and, and we'll go from there. But this is... I don't know how we're going to play. What formation do we use? Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments I said. How excited are you for this? I am absolutely pumped. Uh, and, of course, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time, and we'll have a little bit more action, and we'll get the season underway. Um, and we'll get the season underway, well, I guess, with this County Antrim first-round thing. Or we might just come back for this. Maybe we'll come back for the, for the Northern Irish Cup and our first game in the league. That might be a better way to come back, and we'll just use this as a glorified friendly. Take care.